Welcome again to another publication from the TCP Academy. I am Mr. Wilson, your trusted host. I am looking today at question number three from section two of Agricultural Science 2025 CSEC examination. And I'm going to be reading just questions only. Farmer Joy is a vegetable farmer who recently started cultivating string beans. During the rainy season, she observed that the yield were low and that the bean plot was overrun with pests and disease. The agricultural extension officer visited Joy's farm and observed the pests shown in figure one and figure two among our bean crop. Well, I am going to be looking at it in two ways. So if I were a student, if I say, say ants, I would just say ants. And looking at the picture, you see that the ant is actually cutting. So I'd say cutting ants. And knowing the mode of which um, these insect pests attack the plant, you should have some default there that is like a biting and chewing insect. Or cutting and chewing insect. The one at the bottom there for me, it looks pretty much like aphids and if it they will be piercing and sucking all right feeding on the foliage of a plant let's look at the questions identify the pest shown in figure one and figure two all right figure one is the ants there so it's a central america leaf cutter cutter ants and two aphids uh, the pest in figure one and figure two on page 10 are classified based on how they feed on plants name the group that the pest in figure one belong to. Pay attention, it didn't ask about it after one. So figure one belongs to uh, chewing insects. And of course, it's not required here. However, figure two belongs to piercing or sucking insect. The agricultural extension officer also told Joy that her bean plants were infected with powdery mildew. Other than the disease, other than the decrease, sorry, in yield, state one symptom of powdery mildew in string beans. I gave you a couple. You're going to be having white powdery spot, leaf yellowing and curling. You might have premature drop off, stunted growth, and of course, poor pod quality. So you only require there to do one, but I gave you a couple. As many students, uh, the choices would have been different. So there's two ways in which powdery mildew spores can be transmitted or spread throughout Farmer Joy's vegetable farm. You could have airborne spores, so these are traveling, of course, with the wind. Contaminated tools and equipment, you are working in the field and you're moving from one infected area to another area and you are carrying the spores with you and pretty much causing the spread of the disease. Infected plant debris, these debris are around and you might have um, insect pests, rodent, that sort of a stuff, moving over them and moving into the string bean. That definitely will cause a spread of disease. Insect activity, so you have uh, pollinators, uh, you have beneficial insects that are moving from one plant to another and they are carrying the pores on the body causing the spread of the disease. And then splash water in our splashing water, that could pretty much cause a mole or the spore to move from one plant to another. And there you go, you will be spreading the infection. Let's look at the other question. Outline two cultural methods that Farmer Joy can use to control powdery mildew in her bean crop. You must provide one reason for the use of each method. So the first one I looked at was to practice crop rotation and I chose that one because many students would remember this bit. Rotate with a non-host crop like a cereal or a corn and of course this is going to break the life cycle of a disease thus reducing the spread of a pore. So if you break it for a while then the disease doesn't have its choice crop to reproduce on and of course that definitely will give you some relief and reducing the spread of this disease. Another method is water at the base. You're going to be using drip hose or other uh, watering mechanism that's appropriate, of course, that will keep the foliage, the leaf, pretty much dry 
thus reducing the spores. So let's keep the leaves dry, reducing the fungal spores from uh, germinating. There are some others that I added that uh, based on what I read when I started out, uh, these might come in handy and persons might would have resorted to these. You want to improve the airflow among the crops. So probably you want to do a little thinning, a little pruning here and there so as to make sure that air is flowing through nicely that the leaves are not moist. That would be the haven for the powdery mildew. You could use resistant varieties as you increase the cultivation or uh, increase uh, planting and this pretty much would of course help to break the disease cycle. Remove infected plants or uh, plant parts. Uh, when you do that you want to make sure that you don't use your tool or to visit other fields uh, when you leave the infected field. You want to also clean up plant debris. Do not leave the remain of the uh, infected plants in the field. It would be better you burn or bury them. Control weed. Weed is going to be the heaven for a whole lot of pests. And of course, they might move from your weed into the plot. And also, with weed in your plot, it is going to increase the moisture and lower the temperature of your plot which definitely is going to be an haven for the powdery mildew causing more problems for your plant. Optimize the use of fertilizer. This is going to be a strange one for many. You really don't want to use a heavily nitrogenous based fertilizer because what this will do is pretty much increase the foliage on the plant and when that happens it's going to reduce the temperature and possibly cause the leaves to be moist. When this happens Pretty much you are creating a haven for the powdery mildew. This brings us to the end of question number three, which look at pests on the 2025 agricultural science paper. Until we next meet, walk good. Please be reminded to like, share, and of course subscribe. The other questions are coming. Just, just allow me as soon as I have the time. I'm pretty busy. I will put them up for you. No need to worry, they will be up pretty soon.